Welcome, my beautiful brothers and sisters, fellow radiators of love to Astro Phoenix. Flying into the moment yet again and radiating love as always. And this is going to be your astrological dice roll for today, Thursday, March 25th of 2021. Let's see what we got going on today, guys. We have Mars in Capricorn in the first house in the first house. Mars in Capricorn, first house, guys. Did you see that? You see how Mars was heading towards his best life? You know where Mars is right now? Mars is in Gemini, on top of the North Node. So even Spirit is telling us and asking us, not really asking us, just showing us, go live your best life. Go do it. Go towards it. It is your destiny. It is your calling. And then we get Mars in Capricorn. In the first house, Mars likes to be in Capricorn. It is exalted there, but this is first house energy. So what happens, what's happening right now? We are at the foot of the mountain looking up and we're like, holy crap, that is a massive mountain to climb. Are you going to climb it? I think what's happening here is that we, a lot of times we hesitate. We are afraid to take that first step, that first step. And when it takes another step, and then another step, we are afraid to take that first step sometimes. But this is about creating a new reality for ourselves by having the courage to take that first step, to go live our best life, you know. And it's been a little tough here, you know. It's been a little tough. We had all that energy in Capricorn, you know. We had Pluto, Saturn, and Mars there. You know, going, we had that conjunction. We had, you know, Saturn and Pluto, which technically met up in Aquarius, but we had all of that, all of that stress in the Capricorn energy. And now it's just Pluto there, but there's still stress there. Why? Because, well, at least here in America, we're getting ready for our Pluto return, right? So where's Saturn right now? Saturn is in Aquarius. Saturn's in Aquarius now. But Saturn likes to be there. Jupiter is in Aquarius right now. So there is this calling right now that we all have to do something different, to do something radical in our life, to take a radical first step. And I think this is a step, actually I know this is a step that we all have been pondering on, thinking about, ruminating over, just ruminating, 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 ruminating. It's like we're trying to make some sort of stew and we're just stirring the pot, stirring the pot, stirring the pot, stirring the pot, stirring the pot. Well, here's the problem. Those ingredients are going to burn. That stew is going to burn and it's not going to taste good if we keep stirring the pot, stirring the pot, stirring the pot. And we're heading, of course, towards this massive full moon in Libra, which happens to actually be conjunct my natal Venus. So on this full moon, uh, I'm actually going to be getting an exact Venus opposition with the sun and Chiron on it. Woohoo! But this is about moving towards our best life and taking that step. My dad asked me a question yesterday. He asked me a series of questions yesterday. And one of those questions is like, how do you want your life to look? And I realized that, you know, while I'm on my way to building that life, I'm not exactly where I want to be as far as that goes. And I think a lot of times what can happen, especially right now, is because the South Node is in Sagittarius is that we all want to have all of the answers figured out. We want to have the big picture and we want it now. We want it now. And I think that's the danger here too, especially with Mercury and Pisces, which just squared the, this energy and now it's about to conjunct over to Neptune, right? We do want the dream life right now. And it's like our mind can get us caught up in this loop. It's like, if it's not here now, I'm not happy. But here's the thing, you know, are you at least taking that first step? Are you going towards your best life? Are you making some type of radical change? Because, you know, we're not going to get too many opportunities like this. And there's, of course, free will and all that sort of stuff. But this is first house energy. This is action energy. This is initiation energy. The other thing about the South Node in Sagittarius that I want to talk about real fast, Mars is with the North Node, not the South Node. Okay? This is about movement. This is about moving in our local community. This is about what we can reach out and touch. 
This is not about faraway places. This is not about studying. You've done all the studying. You have the education. And maybe an action for you can be going to get the education, but you have done all the studying. All that sort of stuff, right? This isn't about going out there like that. People are addicted to inspiration and motivation. I want to say that again. People are addicted to inspiration and motivation. I myself am having to wean myself off of that addiction. <laughs> I'm a Sag rising and Mercury and Sag, okay? <laughs> I love inspiration. I genuinely love inspiration and I get fired up by inspiration and motivation and that sort of stuff. But this is about action. This is an action oriented time. The sun is in Aries, Venus is in Aries. And yeah, Chiron is in Aries, but this whole conjunction that's about to happen at eight degrees, eight being the infinity sign, which is a very powerful symbol that which you put out was gonna come back in to your core. Not only that, but eight in numerology is Saturn, is decisions, is commitment. Take that first step today. Take that first step today. And if it looks weird, it's even better. <laughs> if that first step looks weird as fuck to you and weird as fuck to other people, that makes it even better. That's what I got for you guys today. I love you all. Take care. Stay blessed. And I'll see you all later. Peace.